Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Today lecture about DHCP configuration. I'll present the lecture using English language and the review using Arabic language. The main topics of current lecture are basic DHCP understanding, manual versus automatic IP address assignment, selecting DHCP pool from the IP address range of the subnet, configuring Cisco router as DHCP server for the PCs, and finally troubleshooting the DHCP configuration. The simulator used for the current experiment is Cisco Packet Tracer with the assumed topology appears in figure one that contains two PCs connected to the router with two subnets 10.0 and 20.0. The router will be configured using the upper PC as management PC via console cable. Typically DHCP server generates IPs to the clients. The outcome of this experiment is to show how the two PCs PC1 and PC2 will get uh, IPs from the server or from the router. The steps for the configuration started by accessing the router I iOS via console from management PC, then configuring the two interfaces fast Ethernet 0 over 0 and fast Ethernet 0 over 1 by certain IPs related to the subnet, then defining two DHCP pools that are required for each subnet. Suppose that the range of the first sub DHCP pool is from 192.168.10.10 to 192.168.10.30 and the range of the second pool from 192.168.20.10 to 192.168.20.30. These two ranges are used for automatic IP address assignment. To configure Cisco router as DHCP server, first step is to exclude. The first step is to exclude any IP ad address outside the DHCP pool above from these subnets using the command IP DHCP exclude address. Let us focus on these commands, the execute commands. The first execute command related to the pool 1 or subnet, the left subnet of the topology. IPDSCP execute from 10.1 to 10.9. The left side executed IP addresses. Then IP DHCP execute started from 10.31 to 10.254. The right side executed IPs of pool 1. The last two commands related to pool 2 started by IP DHCP execute 21 to 29 the right the left side of the pool 1 uh, of the pool 2 sorry IPDSCP execute 2031 to 2254 the execute I, the excluded IPs at the right side of pool 2 these four commands required for excluding parts of DHCP configuration. Next, 
is to configure the DSCP using DSCP full command for each network. The left network full name is subnet 10 and the right subnet 20. These two names are user defined names. The, the left side DHCP pool configured using IP DHCP pool subnet 10 followed by network definition related, which is 10 0 and its mask, followed by default uh, the gateway command. 192.168.10.1 then exit then move to the next pool by defining the IP DHCP pool subnet 20 and uh, its network which is 20 zero and the mask followed by defining the default gateway IP which is 192.168.21 After completing the configuration of router, it's time to check your PC site. The PC one uh, can be can get the IP address by activating the DHCP radio button as a client, as appears in Figure Four. It will get the IP address 192.168.10.10 network mask and the gateway 192.168.10.1 it means PC1 received the IP the generated IP from the DHCP server or the router successful to check the correctness of your configuration you can use the command related to the mapping or binding of DSCP which is show IP DSCP bind it means bind the IP the, the goated IP with the related mapped address of the PC here the left PC IP 191.68.10.10 mapped or bind did to the a MAC address or hardware address which is started by 0001 and ended by A322. The same for the right PC. The binding between 20, 10 IP and the MAC address ended with P9D7. This binding means successful relationship between each PC with the related MAC address. Finally, you need to check or validate or troubleshoot your configuration using ping between PC1 and PC2. Once all the troubleshooting testing tested successfully, it means uh, the, P the router can generate the IPs to its clients using DSCP successfully. Thank you.